What's going on YouTube? Chris here. Want to bring you guys a little update on Digibyte. I know a lot of people have been asking about it and we actually did break a very important trend line here. So I wanted to go through this with you guys. If you could like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and also tell me guys how significant do you believe this trend line break is? Do you feel like we're going to continue to go down farther or do you feel like we're going to get back up in the trend line and continue to work up that trend line? I want you guys to put it down low. So guys, what we're going to go through is what you see in the just the thumbnail there. Did you bike broke down? What now? And you can see this arrow here. So guys, as we've talked about in the past, how important trend line breaks are. And if you haven't watched my video on trend line breaks, guys, take a look at it. It'll really help you out. There's a lot of profit to be made in trend line breaks. And what we actually had here was this trend line break, guys. And when we had this trend line break, it was on some pretty decent volume. You can see this volume all throughout here. We had on the four hour, every bit of about eight four hour candles there that were pretty close to negative. So I want you guys to keep that into consideration as well. And what we also have to look at is our overhead moving averages. This is our big one here, guys. And this is on the four hour chart is what we're looking at now. So I want you guys to know that this isn't on the daily right now. But this four or this uh, 200 moving average, this is going to be a very, very tough, tough one to get up above. And that's also due to all the overhead resistance that we have here. So if we draw our horizontal line right here. Guys, that's a very difficult area for us to break is that 0.01 area right now because, number one, we'd have to get back up into this trend line and close in that. A lot of times you'll bounce off it and then you'll go back down. So overhead, guys, those are kind of my targets. Number one, get back into this trend line. Number two would be to go up and kind of test this little triple top we have here almost. So when we fell here, guys, we ended up going back up to this 200 and we wicked off it and we got rejected we went back down we came back up we wicked off it we got rejected we came back down been moving sideways came back up came close to it did not even get up to it that time and fell back down guys so on the upside you guys know my targets right up in here now if we can get over these things what you'll see is that there's a lot of room to run which is nice let me clear some of this off for us so this right here you can see how far and how fast we fell. So if we can get up above this 0 0.10, there's a lot of room to run to where we may run into a little bit of overhead resistance right here, guys, around that 0 0.01158 area. All right, now we're going to look at the downside a little bit because that's more so where I feel like we're going, guys. And that's just my, my opinion. Do not take that as financial advice. I plan for both sides, but I also want to be able to accumulate a great project like Digibyte much lower. You know, guys, what if we went to around this area right in here, the 0 0.089 area? There's good percentage gains to be made there if you're able to buy here and then we get back up in that trend line. Next area we would look at is this 0 0.0083. And then I would look at this bottom, and most likely, guys, I see us going to this bottom here, this 0 0.0076 area, which would be a great area to potentially pick up some Digibyte. You know, guys, that could form that double bottom here on that four-hour chart, and then we could move back up. But that would have to come on volume, and you want to make sure that you have confirmation for that. So, guys, another thing here, we're going to go to the daily chart now. Since daily is always so important, you can see it looks like from here almost that symmetrical triangle. Now, symmetrical triangles can break either way, but what's the trend been? Down. So it could be a continuation pattern, guys. And I truly feel like we could go down, we could test this area here, or maybe a little bit lower where you see this rounded bottom over here and we had this nice little volume spike in. So those are the areas that I'm looking for, guys. Lower than that, I don't know if I would want to be buying because we could potentially go all the way back to the very beginning here if we do lose this as support here. I'm counting on this as being very, very strong support. All right? So this area right right around there, I could see us almost double bottoming off that and then making a run back up. So these are the things that I'm looking at, guys. I just wanted to give you a really quick little update on uh, Digibyte here. And another thing, that, guys, I want to draw that we have not been able to break, which is going to be very important. Remember, we pay attention to this RSI. I want to see us break this on the RSI with volume since we've had no volume. See how dry that is, guys? So that means with no volume, one big whale can come in with a lot of selling right now and really push, excuse me, guys, push the price down to that 0 0.007 area like we were talking about.
So we're going to pay very close attention to that because that's where we had a lot of support around that rounded bottom before we made our next run, guys. This was one cycle here, and this is how you got to look at it. This is why I'm saying, guys, you know, if you've hodled this long, we're almost we're getting close to the bottom, guys. So here's one. This was our cycle, and then it played all the way out. And these are looking very similar, guys. You know, here's the humps here, and then we went down, and then we rounded up, and we made another one. Went all the way up here. And now, since that was a bigger one, this correction's taking longer. And then, guys, we're going to come back up, and my guess would be we're most likely going to land on Digibyte when we have the next cycle. This is kind of where I would, I would guess, guys. And remember, this is just a guess. So we'll go somewhere. I could see the next cycle, guys, because there's they run so parabolically. You see, it's only about two months that they spike up right here. They spike up really fast. So it could happen two or three months, and we could go up to this area right in here around that 27, 30 cent area, which, guys, if you're able to buy now, that is huge. That's monster games. We're not even at a penny right now, so that would mean if you put in a hundred dollars, you're at three thousand dollars. If you put in a thousand, you're at thirty thousand dollars. You know, so there there's a lot of potential, especially for when this bottom is set and the next bull run begins. You know, no one can say exactly when that's going to be, but guys, we're getting close. You know, there's only so much selling that can happen before the big boys step in and say, hey, you know what, I'm uh. I'm going to pick some of these up and I'm going to hodl them and I'm going to accumulate them for the long term. And that's what you do, guys. And that's what we wanted to talk about. Remember, we hodl coins in bull markets, right? So we buy the dip in bull markets when it spikes up and then it pulls back to one of those moving averages or supports. We buy those. We don't want to hodl coins in a bear market, right? So that's, that's the thing that we really want to focus on and learn that. You know, in bear markets, you cash is the most important thing so that you can buy these coins how low they are. Think, guys, if you're even able to sell up in here and you've been holding in cash and now you're going to be able to buy back down here, think how many more Digibyte you could get. So I'm not offending any hodlers, guys. That's that's what I believed for the longest time, you know, until I really started studying trading and stuff for myself. There was three, four months where I just believed hodling was it and – Guys, once you learn how to trade, it's a whole different animal. It doesn't matter what what's going on with the market. You can make money on the upside, the downside. I mean, it doesn't matter. We just want volatility. So, you know, guys, this is a wonderful project. I, there's a lot of hype behind it, and I think it's going to be one that's really good. And, you know, we're getting to the <laughs> to the bottom here, guys. But we did break out of that symmetrical triangle there. And in my opinion, guys, we could very well go down, but we could go down and we could double bottom where we had this rounded bottom here. So those are just my thoughts on it, guys. If you like me doing these Digibytes, I want to do them, you know, maybe two or three a week, something like that. If you guys want me to continue to do this, please give me a thumbs up, a like, and all that. If we get to, you know, 7,500 likes, all that, then I, I want to continue to do them. So it's in your guys' hands. If you like them, we'll keep them up. But God bless each and every one of you. Take care tonight, guys. Continue to work hard. Continue to study. I'm proud of each and every one of you, especially the people who are still here listening at the end of this video. God bless you all.